Hi everyone, this is a tutorial from dwbiconcepts.com. In this tutorial today, we will learn some of the ETL cases using SAP Data Services. In this tutorial today, we will learn to implement a SRE Type 2 with dynamic lookup. Let's go straight to the implementation in Data Services. This is how our job design looks like. Let's get straight into the data flow. Based on the source, let's say the customer uh, source is a flat file where the source natural key that is the customer ID is having multiple entries with varying attributes. So consider a scenario when our customer dimension table which is of SCD type 2 and we perform the type 2 which means that if a record is does not exist in this dimension table coming from the source, insert that record. If it exists in the dimension table then close that uh, current record and insert a new record into the dimension table. Now let us consider scenario if the record new record comes in for the first time which is not present in the dimension table it will get a operation code as insert and it will get the corresponding surrogate key and it will be inserted in the dimension table. But say there is another one more source natural key which is also coming in as a duplicate with different varying attributes. So in that case that, that particular record will still not be there in the dimension table because we are taking a lookup based on the preload cache. So that cache will not bear the value of that source natural key and in that case it will again eventually get an operation code as insert and will try to get a new surrogate key and populate into the dimension table which will actually mess the entire logic. So in this case let us see how we handle this scenario using data services. In data services we have the table comparison transform. Over here there is a options called input content duplicate keys. So first based on the source customer ID and the active flag which has been set as Y in the previous query transform, we are performing a lookup on the preload cache of the dimension table. So now if there are duplicate records based on the source customer ID coming from the source, then the cache is aware of that condition and in that case if one record comes for the first time it will get an operation code as insert. If the same record comes from the other time, it will check that compare columns and accordingly it will provide a operation code as update. Next in the transform, the history preservation transform based on the operation code of that incoming record, it identifies or it uh, evaluates the valid from and valid to date, the active flag also. So based on the in, uh, operation code of insert, it will insert a new record with active flag as Y and valid from date as the system date and valid to date as the futuristic date. And if the operation code comes as a update, then it will close the existing record with the active flag N and the validity valid to date as the system date. And at the same time, it will insert one more entry with a active flag Y and a valid to date as the futuristic date. This is how we implement a SCD type 2 with dynamic lookup condition in data services. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, please visit dwbiconcepts.com. Thank you.